overall goal of this procedure is to describe an in vivo technique to image subcellular dynamics in C. elegans embryos exposed to anoxia using a gas flow-through setup on a high-powered microscope. This is accomplished by first preparing a sample of young adult transgenic animals to generate a suitable population of young embryos for imaging. Next, prepare thin agarose pad slides for use in the micro-incubation chamber. Then, the C. elegans are properly anesthetized and covered with halocarbon oil to avoid desiccation when exposed to the gas flow. Finally, the round cover glass with the anesthetized animals is placed into the micro-incubation chamber. The chamber is then placed on the microscope stage and filled with nitrogen gas to produce an anoxic environment while imaging. Ultimately, the use of a gas flow-through micro-incubation chamber in conjunction with in vivo fluorescence microscopy allows high-resolution detailed videos and images of cell cycle arrest in response to anoxia. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like indirect immunofluorescence is that subcellular changes can be documented in vivo while animals are exposed to specific conditions. Though this method can provide insight into anoxia-induced suspended animation in C. elegans embryos, it can also be applied to other systems such as yeast, cell culture, or other small invertebrate or vertebrate embryos. Additional conditions such as hyperoxia, temperature stress, or treatment with small molecules can also be applied. Demonstrating this procedure is Anastasia Garcia and Mary Laddidge, two graduate students from my